Hello everybody and welcome back. I have moved you a little bit further away from me because I didn't want to be stuck in your face like I always am. So let me know what you prefer. Today we have a fun video but a very practical, very functional, you will not want to miss this and I'm going to tell the truth. So stick around because we're doing the five very best everyday bags which is a tag by Hannah from Hello Catwalk City. This is a brilliant video. Even if I do say so myself. and welcome back. Yes, we are doing five very best everyday bags, a tag, as I said, by Hello Catwalk City. Thank you very much, Hannah, who has a beautiful channel for tagging me. Now, before we get started, as always, I want to say a big hello to Wendy's Loving Life. And the reason I'm shouting out today, I will tell you in just two seconds. Not only because she's an amazing person, but because there's another reason. Now, also, Herba Pura by Zerzhov. It's been a while since you saw this baby. Well, she's out for the summer. Yes, she is. Look at the color. I think I'm loving that colour lately. I think I am too. Oh, do not spray it near your bracelet, Viv. You nearly did. You know the way you're not supposed to spray it near these ones? They're kind of delicate. I think I just missed her. Anyway, this beauty is fruity and spicy. She's beautiful. She has a Calabrian bergamot in there. She has a Sicilian orange. She has a Sicilian lemon. She's very fruity in the mid notes and she is musky and powdery on the base. And she is vanilla and ambery. So for all you vanilla, few fruity amber lovers, this is beautiful. She's not that cheap, but you know, a spray here and there, buy her, share her with somebody else and you will love her. She is an absolute beauty, of course. I will link her down below as always. Now let's get on with it. Look at these beauties behind me. Well, these ones here, we're going to play a little game. You're going to guess what I picked because you're only allowed to pick one from each category. The categories being every day, running around, doing your errands, errands, all the rest of it. The next one is work. The next one is a rainy day. The next one is fun vacation. And after that is date night. Now, so the five categories, you're only allowed to pick one bag, which is the very best in that category. Now I have cheated a little bit, not cheated, but just, I have a selection here. These are my everyday bags, okay? And I want you to comment down below which you would recommend or think I would pick or the one that you would pick and maybe I'm wrong. So we're gonna go through them and you may be surprised or not at the ones I pick. And first of all, we go with a Louis Vuitton as an everyday bag. Can we guess? And I bet you know what's in here. Yes. Yes, it is my beautiful and my trustworthy and my beloved Pochette Matisse that I just love and adore. Of course, she's a run around everyday bag. Um, some people might say, but Viv, the Vachetta, the Vachetta. Yes, but I have her covered here with the beautiful Twilly and she only has this much showing and I sprayed her with Apple Guard and she just fits so much. I have her stuffed, I have my organizer inside as always. They're linked down below. I usually get mine on Zumoni and she is just so easy, so practical. Pocket in the back for your phone. I use this a lot. I use it for car park slips, my phone, the whole lot. She really is just brilliant. And as I said, just comfortable and sits nicely, kind of fairly flat against your body because I do not like if they're too bulky, sticking out, all the rest of it a beauty. Even good in the rain. I've, I've actually had this bag in the rain. She's been out in the rain. And what I do is you have a jacket on, you usually just cover over or even with your hand this much of the bag. That's it. This is perfect because I have her covered. The rest of it is rainproof because she's canvas and she is my little workhorse. So I love her. Now, of course, I'm going to put you out of your misery because I know you guys know what's in here because I only unveiled her yesterday. So I'm going to reveal her now. And of course, she is going to be my runaround, one of my runaround everyday bags I mean oh I can't cope I can't cope I can't cope just love and thanks for all the love I got on this bag and the color and the beauty and the sunshine of her and yesterday I didn't you know go into her the last video that she's no pocket on the back I'm sure a lot of you know that now Wendy Wendy asked me when I unboxed this beauty which I hadn't done I had done a what fits inside but she asked me does the LV mini pochette fit inside? And do you know what? I didn't have a clue. Wendy, I hope you're watching this video. I'm gonna take out the stuff that I already have in here. You know, I have been using her. I was telling you that. And so we'll take out that stuff. So I ran upstairs last night. See, cause that's the kind of person I am. So you better subscribe and like and hit the notifications bell. Cause I do research for you guys. Doesn't cost you anything. I'm not gonna spam you. Go on, makes a difference to my channel. Ran upstairs, got my mini pochette and I said, no, 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 no way. Does it fit? Does it? Wait, you see. So we all know the large opening in here, okay? I'm gonna put down this little strap because it's in my way. And I'm going to get herself 
and I'm going to put her towards the opening of the bag because that would make the most sense, wouldn't it? And I'm going to put her in here like so, oops. And then you just turn her around and can you believe it? And you have lots more room in front for your glasses, your car keys, your phone. The LV mini pochette fits inside. That is just to prove to the naysayers that this is a brilliant everyday run around little bag and she is one of my contenders. Inside number three I have of course and I was raving about this bag of course before my mini came along my mini Lueve and I still do and she will be in my rotation for sure and I know you all know what's in here yes it is my Eveline 16 and again I love this is in the cuivre like a copper color and I just adore this bag like look how she's made she's just so soft on the inside the raw leather which I love and that's her little uh, belt and belt strap, not belt, handbag strap, belt. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine, it's okay. So she is definitely going to be a little run around and she fits my phone perfectly, my card holder and my keys. So for days like that, you don't want too much brightness. It could be more autumn, winter, whatever. This goes beautifully with white in the summer. Also, definitely a contender. Now, number three of five that are contenders for my everyday, and I will pick a winner. And we have, this is number four, Vivian, not number three. We have, of course, my Louis Vuitton Mini Speedy HL. This baby is just, look at her, look at her. I love her, I've always loved her. I've said that from the start. She's not going anywhere. She also fits my phone. Don't worry about her in the rain because she's a vintage and she's patinaed just beautifully if you can see there and the handles are just absolutely gorgeous and you can put a little strap on either side crossbody lightweight featherweight i think you know there's a theme with me going forward it has to be light it has to be easy going it has to be just carefree just like me you know okay <laughs> And last but not least, of course, my friends. Oh, my beauty, my baby. Yes, she will be forever one of my babies, I think, you know. They're all my babies, really, but this one came into my family only a couple of weeks ago, and she is my stunning Picatan 18 in the Maurice Terillion Maurice, and she is just, look, look, ver cliquet. I just adore her. She's so beautiful. She would definitely be an everyday bag, but I certainly wouldn't call her a run around bag. I would call her, you know, if I'm, maybe if I'm going out to lunch during the day or something nice, I wouldn't want to abuse this bag because she's too precious. She costs too much, I want to mind her. And the color, being a light color, she's a little bit more high maintenance. I haven't even taken off the sticker. Let's take that off together. See that there? Oh, she's beautiful. She is just, Beautiful. So that is my beautiful. She's definitely an everyday bag. You could definitely go for dinner or an evening dinner or lunch or a business meeting or whatever with that bag, but I wouldn't be running around with her every day now. So let's be realistic about this. So ladies and gentlemen, out of all these bags, which do you think is the winner? The winner of the everyday bag 2023 is gonna go to, well, it's not this one. Right, get on with Viv. Oh, there's two I want to pick. There's two, there's two, there's two, but I'm gonna pick one. I'm gonna pick one, okay. I'm gonna go with the mini Loewe puzzle bag because the only reason she beat, and this is my absolute runaround bag, the only reason she beat, well, there's two reasons. Number one, she's new. And number two, she carries a lot for her size. She's smaller, she's more lightweight, and she's very functional. So the winner of the everyday bag, my friends, is my mini Loewe puzzle. She's understated, she hasn't got the logos, she's the quiet luxury that people are talking about, if that's what you're into, if it's not, you enjoy your logos, girl. And so this is my winner of everyday. Moving on to work bags. Now, I do not work in an office. If I did, I'd have a bigger tote and I would go into that. So for me, if it was like a business meeting or a lunch or something like that, if I did need to bring my laptop, I'd probably just bring my long champ, my la pliage, which I do not have on me at the moment, it's downstairs, in my car because I use it for running errands and shopping and stuff like that as well. So that's definitely an everyday bag as well. But for work for me, I would use, if it was a professional meeting, can you guess? And to get the use out of her, and because she wouldn't be abused, and you know, she'd just look the, the part, 
and I would just enjoy using her. Yes, of course, it is going to be my Birkin 25. I think she'd be lovely for a business meeting. Looks very, very professional. At the same time, holds like if you want your diary, things like that, holds a lot. It's just stunning. She's in the gold with the palladium. I love her. We don't really need to say much more. So this is definitely my work bag, my business bag, my, you know, a little bit more serious, but yet I could take her to dinner and I have done absolutely no problem. Now, moving on to category three. Category three is rainy day and we've lots of those here in Dublin and Ireland. Yes, we do lots of experience of rainy day bags. So I picked, I think I have two for this category. One in this beautiful little cover here. Can you guess? Bet you can. Bet you can because look, we all know what a great bag this is for the rain. It is unbelievable. It has no vachetta. It has all the treated leather in black. She carries a lot. She really packs a punch. She's a little workhorse of a bag. She's the most carefree bag, really, honest to God, as, as far as rain is concerned. I wouldn't worry about her one single bit, I have to say. And she's lightweight. I carry her crossbody. She comes with the two straps. I don't carry her on my back because I'm not 12. Yeah, great, I know. I'm old. Unfortunately. So I carry her with one of the straps and I do her crossbody and she sits nicely on the side of my hip. And she's very, very easy, very useful for rainy days. So she is definitely a contender, but I have another one. I have another contender for rainy days that I have used in rainy days, my friends. And she's in here. Can you guess? Can you guess inside to reveal is the beautiful Chanel 19. Again, you know I love this bag. I have her in the caramel also, but I have to say the black is a lot more practical, a lot more functional. The black is in the goat skin and my caramel 19 is in the lamb skin, a little bit more delicate. Whatever covering is on the goat skin, I do not worry about this bag at all. If I get caught in the rain now, I'm not gonna run out. Oh, there's a rain dance outside. Let's go and dance in the rain. No, that's not gonna happen. But if I get caught in the rain, I'm not gonna worry so much. This bag is unreal. She has the pocket in the back. Ooh, look at that, a grocery list. And then inside I have my, of course, again, another organizer. That's just to keep the inside nice and clean. And the pockets, oh, I've got my little Batista from Hermes. She's just beautiful. I love this bag. I really, really do. I, she'd be in my collection forever, I'd imagine. And I love the hardware and I love that she's kind of edgy, that rock chick love, which I adore. Now, between these two bags, which is the winner for rainy day? The winner is, hands down, my Palm Springs Mini because I do not want to be bringing my Chanel 19 out in the rain if, if I can all avoid it. If I get caught, that's a different story. Yes, I would bring this out in the rain, no problem. Would still recommend her. Actually, on the Louis Vuitton show this year, the medium size was on the uh, runway show. So she's very much still fashion. But another one I wouldn't mind, you know, getting caught in is this little beauty. Now, she's not exactly vintage, but she's nearly vintage. And again, she's my black mini Chanel. And she's got the darker gold hardware, that very yellow uh, gold hardware, which is just stunning. And I wouldn't mind being caught with her either. And she, I've carried her a lot as well. A great little bag, she really is. Now, moving on to fun vacation bag. Well, fun vacation, if I'm off my holidays. Let's just get rid of this mess. Now, so behind me, we have my fun travel vacation bags. And I have una, dos, tres, cuatro, four bags. And can you guess what's in them? So in this bag, I cannot wait to wear these summer bags and inside I adore this bag, adore it. And I haven't worn it yet because I only got it in, I think it was, it was January this year, it was. God, it seems like ages ago, but I think it was only January. <sighs> Look at I love all this. I just love the wicker. I love, you know, the sturdiness of it, the craft, the whole lot. And this will definitely be coming on my holidays this year. We're going to Marbella, so she will definitely be coming with me and I will show you maybe a couple of outfits I wear her with when I go for dinner or things like that, but I wanna get my wear out of this beauty and she is definitely coming with me on summer holidays. The next bag that is a contender for my vacation fun holiday bag is none other than, can you guess? Bet you can. Why are you wearing a green top? <laughs> had coffee, wouldn't you know? This is definitely coming on holidays with me this year. I can imagine myself wearing her in the airport, crossbody, just with all her bits inside. I love 
the magnetic strap on her. I took off the plastic that was on, which was preventing her from closing, but like, she just, there's no, like, so, so easy. She feels so beautiful. There is the inside with the little card slots, if you can see them inside here. And she is divine, the crossbody strap that I just have here. And I cannot wait, as I said, to wear this bag. I'm gonna be full of color and hopefully joy this summer. And uh, with all my colorful bags, people will think I've lost the plot altogether. So there's the inside of the bag. I'm just keep, keeping her nice and sturdy and in shape. And I will be wearing her either grab and go like that or then crossbody, and off I go to lunch or the beach or wherever it may be. Loving this bag and she is in. I'm going to do a comparison. I was requested to do a comparison between this and the mini Chanel rectangular. I'm going to that very shortly. So hold on for that one, an absolute beauty. So she is another contender. My third bag, which is in this bag, and I don't know what I'm gonna do because I actually can't bring them all on holidays because I'm not gonna bring that much luggage and you know, carry on is this beauty and she's just perfect. But this bag, this gray beauty in the Chanel is just stunning with the kind of aged gold hardware and I have my little twilly on top and she has the crossbody strap which I have inside. So she's definitely a contender for bringing her on holidays or to be honest, the next category which I have up is date night. She would be perfect for that either. Then if you wanna be more casual and this beauty I did bring to Paris, this is my Lululemon, my little belt bag. I actually wanted to get this bag in the nylon. So I got this furry kind of material, which to be very honest, is not my favorite, but the bag is amazing. I carried it to Paris and I brought another bag. I think my little black mini Chanel I brought with me as well. And it was just incredible for your passport, for security, for running around, for ease of use, for shopping, for everything. Absolutely unbelievable. So the winner out of all these bags, well, I would absolutely say this if it was, you know, myself on a kind of like a trekking holiday. But if it's fun and if I'm sightseeing and if I just want to have fun and enjoy my bags, it will definitely be this one. I would love to say this, but obviously for obvious reasons, is not as practical as this little mini Fendi baguette. So this is the winner of my fun color vacation bag. I think it is just the perfect bag, the perfect size, the perfect weight, and it would carry like my passport and I'll do a what fits and everything else in another video. So this is the winner of fun vacation bag. Let me know what you think. Last category, which I was totally messing up in the last one, I have a couple of bags for date night. Now, I don't go on many dates. It doesn't say I won't in the future, you know? <laughs> but dinner dates, even with your girlfriends, with your kids, with whoever, date nights, what would I bring? I have a couple of beauties that I cannot wait to wear and one of them is in here and I just, oh my God, I haven't even done a proper reveal unboxing. I know I showed it to you, but I haven't done it. I should really do a proper one and I will, but I just adore this bag and funny because I had it kind of on my wish list a good while ago. But anyway, she eventually came to fruition in a very unexpected way and it is my Fendi first in the small that I bought in Paris with my trip with Katie in February. So she's in the chalk white with kind of the python there, the exotic skin, that's the word I was looking for, the exotic skin on the handle with the gold trimmings, which I adore. I had looked at this bag in, in caramel color and I loved it, but you know what? I've enough caramel bags, I really do. And I just wanted a white bag and look, this is just, Oh, this bag, the, it just takes my breath away. It really, really does take my breath away. And the detail of how the little, the little things inside spring up to carry the handle or the strap, beautiful. I cannot wait to wear this bag, whether it be on a date, what, whatever the circumstances, dinner, all the rest of it. I think she's divine. I think she's classy and elegant and timeless. I really do. So we are going to put her just up here. She is one of my contenders and my second contender for date night is in this beautiful bag here. And I have used this bag quite a bit as well. And I had to put in one of my beautiful caramels and it is my 21P collection in the mini square with the light gold hardware. And she is just so, so beautiful. I adore this bag. I used her a lot last year in Marbella. So I'm going to give her a break this year and bring one of my other little beauties. But I think she's just divine. 
but let me see. The winner for date night would be, and I'm gonna have to say, my Fendi. The reason being, I haven't used her, I wanna give her a night out, and I can use my mini square caramel for different occasions during the day, but I really feel this is the ultimate date night bag, and she's a special occasion bag, and she's an exquisite beauty that needs to be treated with tender loving care, just like the person going on a date. So that's it, my beauties. They are my picks and my winners of my best everyday bags or best occasion bags of 2023 for rainy days, for every day, for fun vacations, for work and for date night. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please subscribe. We're going to have lots of fun videos coming in the future. And until next time, be kind, be safe and be compassionate. And if you want to do this video, you're tagged. See you next time. Mwah!